Hi everyone. I hope you are all well. English for Palestine. Pupils book 12. Unit 1. Period 5. Activities 2 and 3. I think I found a course that would be great for me. That's good. What is it? It's called Environment Studies at a place called the International College for Scientific Research. It's not a university, but it's a one-year foundation course that I think will help me when I apply to university next year. The thing is that I'm not sure if my exam results will be good enough to get the university course I want. And this is the field you want to make your career in, is that right? Definitely. I've been interested in the environment since I was about nine. What are you studying at the moment? My main subjects are biology, geography and English. Mm -hmm. And I suppose you're a member of the Environment Society at school? Of course. I joined as soon as I started secondary school. And I was elected as president two years ago. That all sounds good. It seems to be a way of achieving what you really want to do. Oh, I hope so. The final school exams are in June this year. And this course starts in September. So I can apply for a university course in environmental science next year. What I really want to do is work in the area of climate change, particularly the way it affects ocean life. Well, good luck with that. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one who saves the world. <laughs> I'm not that ambitious. I just think it's important to do something that might help. Unit 2, Period 5, Activity 3 As a university admissions officer, I've seen many personal statements, both good and bad. So, before I move on to some tips about what to do, I'll begin by telling you what you should avoid doing. Firstly, a general point, don't make statements that are too general, like I've always been interested in this subject. Anyone could say that. The same goes for claims that are unsupported. For example, I'm a hard-working student. The basic rule should be show, don't tell. Another thing to avoid is anything that's negative. You're selling yourself, rather like an advert. So, if there's something that you should have done but haven't, don't mention it. And don't make excuses. Also, don't include quotations from famous writers. Lots of other people will probably have used the same ones, and anyway, the people who read it want to know about you, not someone else. It's called a personal statement, remember? And it's your one chance to make yourself stand out from everyone else. Now, I've got a few tips about the style of your personal statement. First, avoid humour. Being funny is a difficult thing to get right, and it can sound very false to the reader. For the same reason, you shouldn't try to emphasise words and phrases in the text by underlining them or putting them in bold. Finally, a warning. There are lots of examples of personal statements on the internet, but you really mustn't copy them. If it's not your own work, the university will definitely find out and your application will fail. And one last thing to mention is that you should leave plenty of time for doing all this rather than leaving it till the last minute. Doing all the research and planning will take longer than you think. Unit 3, Period 5 Activities 2 and 3 
Hello, Samira. So, how was the interview? I think it was OK, but there was a bit of a problem. Why? What happened? Well, it's a long story. I was walking to the place where the interview was when I saw a man reach out of the window of his car. He'd just parked. He dropped an empty sweet packet onto the pavement. You know how I hate that. I just think it's so lazy and thoughtless. Oh, did you say anything? I don't usually, but for some reason I did this time. I pointed at it, picked it up and gave it back to him, saying that it wasn't so hard to find somewhere to put it. He looked a bit embarrassed and said he was sorry. Good. But what's that got to do with the interview? Well, this is the funny part. I went for a coffee because I was a bit early and then went to the interview. I recognised the interviewer as soon as I walked into the room. Oh no! It wasn't him, was it? It was. The same man I'd spoken to half an hour before. So it was my turn to be embarrassed. Oh... Did he say anything about it? No. I'm sure he recognised me, but he just carried on and asked me the normal sort of questions. At the end, he shook my hand and said thank you. Maybe there was something in the way he was smiling, but perhaps I was imagining things. Anyway, he said they'd get in touch with me next week. Oh well... Maybe that bit of personal contact will be enough to get you the job. Who knows? Have a nice day. See you soon. Safa Ejaidi.